for sugar. Word. Here we go. Wherever you are, just turn that mic on. Do I turn the mic on? Yeah. Do you guys hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. If I don't know you, you can have a cure to cancer. If I don't know you, it doesn't matter. 
You know that whole, that old saying, the tree falls in the forest? I mean, let's be real, it sounds funny and it's, it's cute and everything people say, but it's, it's reality though. If, if, if I don't know you, I won't, I won't invest in you, I won't buy your products, I won't hire you, I won't work with you, I won't do anything with you. It's obscure. So my goal, right, and, and to people in my life, to much chagrin, to people in my life, they, they're, they're kind of perturbed with the fact that I want 7 billion people on this planet to know you. And I'm okay with that. Half of you will make this like me, you know, they have to like me. If that happens, I will become the President of the United States. Right? <laughs> so all you need is half of the country to like you, and the other half to hate you, and you have a good chance. So it's obscurity. Like I said, if nobody knows you, it doesn't matter. And, and, and I'm going to, there's some of you here who are on only certain social media platforms, and there's some of you who are in the industry or in PR, and you guys don't use social media. And don't worry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roast you guys later. Because it, you know it's, it's kind of it's, it's, there's no excuse now. There's no time like the present to get attention for what you want to do. There's literally no time, right? Today we're going to talk about traditional media, but again I'm going to talk a little bit about social, some social strategies and things that I do as well. But uh, traditional media still 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 counts to some degree, still counts. Um, but now the internet literally has leveled the playing field, so there's really no excuse or no reason why we can't uh, we can't get attention. Because in some cases, if you can get attention socially. That's what the traditional media is going to call it. Uh, when I started doing CNN, I had done a Fox News hit. CNN had watched me on Fox News and they saw some YouTube stuff that I've done. They said, hey, come in and talk to Mike Gallinos, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, some money, we did a money, a money segment about uh, Black Friday. I just came in last week. They called me the night before. Can you come tomorrow? I was like, uh, sure. And um, I, don't say, I, don't, I don't say no to a lot of traditional media on purpose. Yeah, I like to be honest. So, anyways, I'm not narcissistic. I just enjoy television. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you a little bit about how traditional media works. Now, some of you may know, some of you may not know. This is, and everything I'm sharing with you is based on my experience. I'm not, it's not something I've read, something I've got from somebody else. This is everything that I've done in the last five, six years to go on literally almost every uh, new channel I can get on, every TV show I can get on. Um, and this is kind of what I do, uh, and this is kind of how, what I've learned in the process of that. So traditional media is very simple. Uh, they don't really care about you. They don't care about us, they don't care about me, right? I understand, let's be frank, you know, be clear. There's only a handful of people here, like 150 people here, 200 people here. And um, <laughs> just to be clear, traditional media carries its money. It's, it's, it's an economically driven engine. I get it, it's fine. We live in an economic society. I have no problem with people making money. You should not dislike money, right? You can do a lot of things with it, okay? You can help a lot of people. And so, because I know that I understand when, when a producer is producing a segment, they don't care if you're an expert in a particular field. They don't care that you have the next big idea to save money. They don't care if you have some travel secrets. What they care about is, what are you talking about that's relevant to today that they can produce a show, right, and then share it, and then worry about the next day? They're not thinking long term, they're thinking the next, this particular day. Are you gonna cancel on me? Are you gonna show up, are you gonna show up on time? So traditional media doesn't really care about you specifically, not in a bad way, but they, what they care about is how can you plug something into their already existing machine to make it go further? That's basically it. So, too often I run into people who write, you know, see me on something, you know, you know, people I don't know who are trying to get on TV and say, how do you do whatever. They're writing like a three page email. And so, if you're writing me a three page email, imagine what they're writing to a particular producer, right? And you know what's going to happen? I take a phone out like, I, I can't, I don't know what, what to do with this, right? Nobody, they're always on the phone, it's, it's two lines, three lines, it's quick, it's right? sick, um, poignant. So, the key is if you understand how it works in life, everything, if you understand how something works in life, you have a better chance of succeeding in it, seriously. People struggle with things, they don't really take the time to figure out how something works, and that's what I try to do with, uh, with media as a whole. So, it's something I call develop your circle of influence. It's my own term, I coined it, and it's because a lot of us are experts in a particular space, but the, this is one of the biggest misconceptions. Um, I talked to people a lot, I was actually talking to somebody about this yesterday. Um, they said, you know, they, they do how to get out of debt, as an example. And they thought they couldn't talk about anything else from a financial perspective. What you don't understand is when, when you get on TV, there's two things that, two psychological, psychological triggers that your audience automatically gets fulfilled. One is authority, the other one is social group. Okay? They're not listening there, they're not sitting there thinking, oh, this person's just a debt person, right? This person's just a debt expert. You can go on and talk about almost anything else because it relates to finance. 
So something I call the circle of influence, you being in a circle, being the expert of a particular general genre or niche, and then thinking of things that are ancillary to that, that you can pitch, uh, produce something. That's how I get callbacks, that's how I get people to respond to my emails, that's how I get, people, that's how I get anybody to answer you. They'll answer you, they may say, no, I don't need you today or this week, but they will respond to you. Right? And it's not because I've done a bunch of stuff. I was doing this before I had, you know, before I, was, I had a long list of uh, appearances and stuff. So this is what it looks like, uh, briefly, and I'll explain the example. So say for example, and actually this is a, kind of like a true thing, uh, someone I actually know does this. Um, say you're a dog, you create, you make dog treats, and you're, you're a baker, and you, you know, you like making treats for dogs, because the treats you buy in the stores are garbage, and preservatives and stuff, and you want to do natural, doing whatever, there's something, there's something niche about what you do, right? You would think on its face that a person who, did, who creates or makes dog treats, a baker, would have nothing else to say other than dog treats. But if that's the mistake you make, you automatically assume, you think very myopically, we think that the industry and traditional media from that perspective believes the same thing, and they really don't. Everything has to be ancillary to what you're doing. So for example, you're the dog treat uh, person. You can talk about 4th of July fireworks and how dogs freak out because of fireworks and lie, a lot of noises. Because of what's gonna, what's gonna, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go on and say, uh, you know, Amy Johnson, maker, she's a dog treat maker, by the way, she has some great tips to share about how to keep five year safe and happy during 4th of July. Very simple, give her three, four, three, four, five points, wrap it up, call it a day, hey, you wanna find out more about Amy Johnson, you go to the site, blah, 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 that's it. You're not going to say, you only make dog treats. What the hell do you know about fireworks and dogs? Nobody does that because it's a, you've already created the connection. You've created the bridge. Right? You've created, um, literally, the bridge of what you do to what is relevant. The key is being relevant in general. That's literally the secret. The key is being relevant. Take your idea and strategically, and I'm going to show you that a little bit of how, and I'm also going to show you a set of pitch and how I can't pitch. Um, second, for example, Halloween. You're probably thinking, you know, Halloween, what, what does dogs do in Halloween? Flashlights, safety, you can take your dog with you when you walk, you bring your kids, you bring your family here. Oh, by the way, I make dog treats, right? I, I made, I made, and you bring, you bring someone to the studio, bring your dog with you to the studio, and you have like, you know, ghost dog treats, and you can, you know, uh, you can do like uh, uh, Casper, and, and, and you know, like Power Rangers, or whatever else. Anything that's, that's ancillary to what you do, but it's, it's, a, it's an extension of who you are. And because it's relevant, it matters. We, we like we like common we like commonality. We like relevancy. We're not going to. It's not outside of the norm for somebody to say that if they do that. The other one, Thanksgiving. You know, instead of instead of feeding your dogs a uh, scrap from the table, here's some healthier treats. Here's some sweet potato treats you can do. Stop keeping your don't don't let your dog become fat. Eat this instead. Very simple, but it's poignant to Thanksgiving. While while you while the humans are fat, save save vital for doing this this and this. <laughs> Sweet potato treats. You know, it works. And then the other one, Veterans Day, service dogs, perfect. Sad, sad story. We'll find a veteran, picture. Right? Bring a veteran in, all oh, these dogs saved my life, it was great, but all this other stuff. I'm not trying to be flippant, but I'm just, that's, that's literally how it works. As long as you realize who you are, right? And then think of it. So, literally, when I do this for myself, it's like 100 carrots. So I'm just thinking, okay, what else? What can I talk about? I say I talk about money, small business. Here's an example for me. Um, say there's, unfortunately, say there's a plane crash, so I know what people want to die. I can talk about insurance, I can talk about how to affect small business, I can talk about business travel, I can talk about, this is, I'm just making this up the top of my head, I can talk about those three things, at a minimum I can talk about that. I can talk about how to insure key employees, I can talk about ta uh, tax saving tips on, on, on other travel stuff. There's so many things I can talk about that's within my particular purview, right? It's not, you know, the, Show of hands, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Does this resonate? Yes. All right, thank you. So, and, and again, we do Q&A, so I want, to make, I want to try to get through this, not relatively quickly, but I want to get through it enough so we can have enough Q&A. I want to make sure I impart as much, um, as much uh, information with you, to you guys as possible. So, I'm going to share with you guys how, um, how I pitch the uh, and uh, this blue right. I did this. I did it before I came here. Um, I couldn't change my flights. I pitched a uh, local TV station, very simple. Um, I had a, one of my VAs to compile all the information, local TV, local radio, and I just put together a rough, a rough pitch, and I had to send it, and I had a few people, I had a few people, I had people respond. They'll respond to me. They said, yeah, we'd like to segment, we don't have a lot of time this week, but next time you're in Charlotte, blah, blah, blah. It's fine, I understand, it's last minute. 
I would say Q&A to the end. Okay. I just have one quick question. What do you do for a living, meaning how do you get paid, and what, is your, what are you trying to sell? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll answer that in a second, too. I'm going to keep going to flow that out. That's a good question. It's a very good question. Um, because, briefly, because getting media is not is, is great, but obviously there's a money-making component. My goal is to create social proof for me, right? And how I make money in addition to that, because I do TV, because I, I've grown as my social platform, that's what got me this book to. I have an actual book. I didn't sell, no, no, I'm still publishing. I'm going to self-publish my next book. But the fact that I was able to do this, Consistently, my platform, I find not only deep but also wide enough that when I go to a publisher with this, they say, Yeah, we can we'll publish your book and give you a five figure advance. Right? The second thing is, um, I, can, I, can, I can generate and move traffic to whatever I'm trying to pitch at a particular time, like my site, the business I'm working in, whatever else. Again, there's, there's an exchange of value. So the media is using my information to, to inform their audience and you know, sell ads, and I'm using them to get attention. That's basically all, that's all I'm doing. Like, I make no mistake, no bones, this is not, I'm trying to help people, so that's, I can help people directly when they hire me. I can't help people by giving them just regular, you know, advice and advice. People aren't going to act. So, so the, the deeper thing, like that's your question, the deeper thing is books, partnering with brands, brands will partner with you, brands will hire me to help do, you know, Google Hangouts, do Twitter chats, do a bunch of different things, because my, my, my platform is large enough. That's basically it. Um, so this is how I basically pitch uh, media producers. Um, every week, I, I've slacked a little bit, but every week, um, I read weekly news, local and national. So wherever town you're in, it's, it's local, you know, the local Sunday paper has a lot of information in there. And also national as well. Uh, I'll look, you know, you say today, Penny, if you're in the finance space, you know, Wall Street Journal can work. It's a little too much sometimes. Uh, I'll also do maybe you USA Today. Uh, you don't have to get too financial. I mean, if you're in finance, you have to go too deep because again, when you're, when you're sharing information, People aren't three minute segments, no one's retaining anything. You're thinking, oh, that person looks good, that person's cute, oh, okay, that makes sense, maybe I can use that one tip, and that's the end of it. So my goal is I need to be memorable enough, so like what I did at the beginning to get you guys to say, hey, oh, that's my goal when I get on there. So when I get on, when I get on TV eventually, I come up with sayings and pithy sayings or funny sayings that you have memorable. I mean, not just my name and the way I look, I want you to remember who I am. That was everything I did was a waste, right? The second thing is Google Alerts. I love Google Alerts. Set up Google Alerts for people you want to connect to. Set up Google Alerts for um, ideas in your space. Be as niche as possible if you can. Uh, set up Google Alerts for uh, organizations that, you, that you, you want to partner with and learn from. I mean, one of the, it's the best thing in the world. Here's an example. It's something you can use to call a type of top of mind strategy. Where every single time someone you want to connect, say a brand you want to connect with, every single time you hear or you see a Google Alert about a particular industry, you can think, you can reach out to that particular person, hey, I just saw this article, thought maybe it'd be interested in you. Said, one line, done. Hey, my name's Abel. You know, I saw this article, you know, I love what you guys do here to do with this. But it's simple. Consistent, consistent, consistent. People want to do business with people they, they like, they know, like, and trust. You hear that all the time, right? But again, the first is no. If I don't know you, the like and trust is relevant. Would you agree? If I don't know you, then everything else doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're the best in the world, it doesn't matter if you're smart, it doesn't matter if you're the prettiest, you're bright. If I don't know you, it doesn't matter. So that's the key. The third is I use social media to connect with producers, uh, brands, and media as well. So what started for me how I'm able to connect with brands and do work with them is because I follow, I mentioned them on Twitter. The biggest mistake you can, you can do in the world is set up those auto DMs. I'm so tired of that. I'm so sick and tired of that crap. Just, just don't because it's an, it's an absolute annoyance. I, I think I'm mad when I get an auto DM on this person an amateur in general uh, because it's. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. It becomes an annoyance. It's like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Joe. And all of a sudden, you're like, hey, buy my product. Buy this, buy this. Buy this. Let's get married. Like, that's not going to happen. Right? <laughs> I mean, it takes a long time for someone to say yes. Even the people who got married quickly. It wasn't the first day. At least it was a week. You know? Like, hey, well, right? So you have, you, have, you have to think from that perspective. You're courting somebody. So what I, so what I normally do, and I'll, I'll, I'll dive in a little deeper this. What I normally do with social media, I'll follow people based on what I want. What I, what I want, not what I want, it's not If I follow people based on what my interests are and what I'm interested in connecting with them on. And uh, say for example, it's, I don't know, Colgate or whatever else. I'll follow people with Colgate. I'll tweet some of your stuff, I'll retweet, I'll favorite your stuff. I'll find, I'll find articles that, again, because I, I use a Google word, that's interesting, I'll find an article that I saw and I'll tweet it to them. Hey, you guys may like this, da 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 da. 
And it'll be from like a, it'll be like a real publication, so they won't think I'm trying to send them like some spam. It'll be, you know, USA Today. I just, I just found a USA Today article that disappointed about what you guys did here. Hey, look. After that, I carry this happens to me all the time. After that, I'm not gonna tell you about this, but after that, what ends up happening is they end up following you. They, the conversation starts. And that's, that's what's happened with every brand I've, I've worked with. You know? um, I have a brand that I'm working with, I'm gonna be working with soon right after this in Twitter chats. Yeah. And that's exactly how it happens. There's a major shipping company that, uh, or, or uh, yeah, shipping company, or not posted, they, they do shipping things. And um, we're gonna connect shortly to do Twitter chats and labs and periscopes like on, on, a, on, a lar on a larger scale. I'm walking through that process. Mainly because we connected over the last two, three months. It's not gonna be an overnight thing, but it's, it's worth it. Like, the whole, again, the whole goal is to get a touch of your month. Look, don't, make no mistake, do not feel bad about it. Don't feel like, I don't wanna, it's fun. No. So nothing wrong with it. Again, I've said this before, and I've got this from, I've got this, I've heard this before, I've heard it publicly, but again, there's no nobility in poverty. There's none. There's nothing wrong with, with finding brands to partner with. If you bring value to, to somebody, they will gladly give you money for the value. That's the whole part of the exchange. It's not a bad thing. You know, so if I talk to people, they feel bad about trying to get the tech. Don't feel bad. We're taught growing up, we put our hands in our pockets, sit in our chairs, and shut up for eight hours. That's, that's, that's an old bottle. That's a, that's, you know, that's a parochial school, that's not, that's not what we're in right now. Now it's all about getting attention. As much as you not like the Kardashians, and I don't watch their shows, I study what they do. There's a reason why they are on every single media platform out there. You go to the supermarket, you can't get away from them. You go, you watch TMZ TV, they're there. Everywhere you go, you see them. And it's not about a sex thing. Do not let people fool you when they tell you it's about a sex thing. Because there have been 10 or 15 other people who put out a sex thing. I've never heard from them ever again. Sex day for a week, and then they're done, right? The team mom, all these other people, all these other people, sex day, Paris Hilton, done. So you can't tell me it's that. It has to be more than that. So my goal is, my, my point is to, to, to tell you is, do not fall for the narrative that it's a sex day, it's simplistic, some simplistic thought. It's not that. There's, there's, a, there's a persistence to it. There's nothing, and, and again, I'm not saying you gotta do what they're doing, but I'm saying there's something to be learned to, to, to learn from that particular uh, uh, process. The next is I write segments for the producers. So I realized, when I talk about how the, how the official media works, the producers, a lot of them are young, a lot of local stations especially, when I go to even national stations, they're young. They're literally in you know, 20s and 30s. I say 30s, but that's, 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 that's pushing it. Usually in their 20s, early 20s, okay? Um, they get, they're underpaid, they're getting pushed to, to produce segments like crazy, right? They're freaking out all the time, they're always stressed. Because when I see them, I'm like, oh, okay, we're here on time. Oh, yeah, okay, we're going to here. And I'm like, hey, it's fine, I'm good, it's okay, I, I, you know. But then they'll tell me a story about this guy can't feel like I'm convinced, I've been up since two. But that's what happens. So if I can alleviate your stress, I'm their best friend. You can do the same thing in your business anywhere. If you can alleviate, alleviate somebody's stress, you can become exponentially valuable, valuable to them. And so as a result of that, I will write segments for the producers. And I want to show you guys a sample of the pitch that I do, like, I think the next slide too. Um, but that's exactly what I do. And so they know when I set up a page to like this guy gets it, he knows what he's talking about. Right? And okay, here's a here's a, even if it's one one thing you've done, it doesn't matter if it's a YouTube, it doesn't matter if it's uh, you can have it, it doesn't matter if it's an actual, you know, public or another a news a news outlet. Just do one. Do one by yourself. Have somebody interview you. And then use that and then sure, hey, this is one of this is an example of some things I can do. Right? And they have to they can substantiate bringing you in. Let's you notice how your car your house picks you up and you're coming over and you some water, was nice to you. Then they know you can you can produce. That's why I get called back. I I I I I, I turn it into a science. Literally. I turn it into a like, this, 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 follow your checklist, do what I'm supposed to do, and I'm out. A lot of times when I go on, I'll pitch, I'll go on, other times when I go on, it's a lot of, I'm the last thing they got to go call because they know I can I can deliver. I'll show up within a few hours. Learn whatever we're trying to talk about, create the points for them, create the segment for them, and then, and then hand it to them. And then I'll sit there and deliver that joint. Right? So that's the reason. So, so it's imperative if you want to get on TV, if you want to get in blogs, the same thing. Uh, some of you guys have met Farnoosh. I, I, I provide quotes to her a lot. She'll, she'll call last, a lot of times, at the last minute. Hey, you want, I need a huge favor, I'm doing this second, da 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 da, can you send me two lines on this, whatever. Within, within, within an hour, I'm like, yeah, sure, I know this. Done, set. She was literally cut and paste. No need to be right. I, I, I'm, I'm used to the, but it, it's important to work that muscle. You can do that. Everything I'm doing here can be done by somebody. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go to school for this, but I realized early that I need to get on TV. I need to get attention. I need to get bags. I need to get blogs. Now with the internet, again, there's no reason why you can't. You get up with podcasts. You do podcasts of your own. 
Sample pitch. All right. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> I'm funny sample pitch. I'll show you real quick. So not only this because my platform, this book got published. And uh, this book is the same book, but it's uh, in Indonesia, and I picked up in Indonesia, published in Indonesia. I can't even read any of this stuff. I don't. I literally, it's, it's, it's a bunch of it's letters. I have no idea what's in this. But I just got I got a note, and it said published in Indonesia. I ended up getting. Uh, I, I knew it, and then I got a tweet from somebody saying, "Thank you so much. The book is great. You know, with the author of Indonesia." I'm like, holy cow! I started crying because. I worked so hard to get to this, right? But because I built the platform out, it, 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 it's imperative to not make an excuse to yourself for not understanding social. Because again, you can leverage off each other. If you grow your social, the traditional media can come. You can use your traditional media to grow your social. You can do both simultaneously. And you don't have to spend a boatload amount of time. I, 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 you know, I do Periscope twice a day. I do, uh, I do an Instagram once or twice a day. I, just, I schedule it out. I think it's something I have to do. It takes two seconds. I'm periscoping this right now. The people are, there were hundreds of people watching. I have about 200, 250, 200 views sometimes on so my periscope. These are people that I would never put a bet otherwise. And, you, and that's the money we keep living on the table. All right, seven pitch. So I went on the ramp. So this is what I do. I started out with a, a two, and I, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you an example of what I, how I connect with people once I do this pitch, once I practice, I practice. I'm going to connect with people as to how, um, um, as to how, how I find out who they are, and I create a, how I sort of create the relationship. I'll just go, I, didn't, I don't think I can put it in the slides, but I'm gonna go a little bit further in depth. Um, also, I'm gonna be able to uh, provide copies of these slides to people um, at the end. So I'll give my email address, email to me, I'll send it to you, I'll figure out, or I'll talk to Phil, Phil or I'll figure out how to get it to you guys, get one. Okay, first thing, I do a two to three line introduction. Who are, who, who are you, and who am I, what do I do, um, and I also include maybe some experience I had in general. It's just, you know, everyone's gonna have an elevator pitch, you know, this opera CPA, speaker, TEDx, blah, 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 whatever. Now I work with small businesses, online, offline, something that effect, real quick. And then uh, you basically tell you who are, oh, and I also have done this media, I've done that media, I've done this stuff. Maybe if you haven't, you can just say, the things I've worked on this, I've talked to these people, whatever. Um, that's, 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 that's a qualifier for the most part. Second, second line I put it is a current event you want to speak about. Again, if you've been doing a Google or some even papers, you can see if you know what the current events are, right? And it's poignant. Easy, right? There are times when I'll go on, I'll, I, like I'm scheduled to go on and do like I was used to do MSNBC's uh, Chris Jansen and company in the morning, and they would call. I go on. So here's an here's an example. Um, so it's crazy. Uh, so they call me two days two days before. They call me like on a Saturday. Hey, can you come Monday and start out? You know, start out the hour. This is live, seven seven second delay. Okay, live. This is not a lot of my things that I do are, are taped, but they're, they're taped for the host, but not for me. So if I screw up, it's going live with that. But this one is actually live, seven second delay. So I go on, I sit in the chair, I'm mic'd up. Um, I'm going on to talk about gold, and I'm going on to talk about uh, the, the market, and market starting off poorly, and all this. It's all, it's all crap, but it's you know, stuff to talk about in general. And um, I provide the segment, and in my ear for me, I'm in DC doing this remotely in DC. And that's another lesson of the Craig Scary thing. You've got a camera, all you have is a camera, there's no teleprompter, if you watch some of my hits, I never, I've never had a teleprompter. No teleprompter, just a camera and then a light. And then occasionally I have a monitor for the shot. I turn it off because I get distracted. I start staring at myself. The camera's up here, I'm like, yeah, this, 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 this. I'm like, that was horrible. So I turn that off now, but I got my sense of the camera lens, and that's all, that's all I'm looking at. I'm, just, I'm pretending like I'm talking to myself, which I do a lot. But I feel like I'm talking to myself. Actually, I should do. Um, I'm, like, I'm my own best consultant. So, so I'm looking, I'm talking to myself, and that's, that's, what gives me, that's what makes me comfortable. So I'm sitting there, I have a thing in my ear, and the guy's like, hey, this is Kevin from New York. He has a good name, hey, great. We're about to go on in 15 seconds. Hey, can you do us a favor and talk about the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac downgrade? <laughs> <laughs> live TV on a Monday. Everybody's watching live TV on a Monday. I'm sitting there, like, literally, I'm like, literally for like something. I said, I'm not going to put this in my head. And I'm like, okay, all right, let's do it. I can do it. Now, the only reason why I was able to do that is because I read the Wall Street Journal an hour before that. Ever since that happened, I read, I read a Wall Street Journal every single time. <laughs> and everything online, everything I can. But that's exactly what happened. Because I read the Wall Street Journal earlier, and I got some points out of that, I was able to talk for about a minute about the, the Moody's, I think it's S&P downgrade of uh, uh, Fannie Freddie. Play some, but again, if you don't do those things, you go on there, like, talk about Fannie Freddie, I'm like, I say no, go on and start talking gibberish. Like, so I had to, I, you know, that's partially why it's important to be prepared. Um, so that's why, I'm sorry, that's the big so that's why it's important to uh, um, know about the current events that's happening, even up to the minute you have to, you can. 
Second, I provide three to five talking points. Very poignant, one lines, uh, one line per, you know, per, per, uh, per point. Very simple, you add the talking points. Literally, the producer will look at this and say, I can take this and plug it into the machine. Because they know automatically, okay, we know, we know you know what you're doing, we know that you can deliver this. Right? And it's easy to memorize three to five points. You know, so, and, and it forces you to, to talk in sound bites. So I have a counter in my head now. I remember one time I did, a, did, a, did, a, did, a, did Follow the Money on uh, Fox Business. And I don't know, anybody here know who Bo Dito is? That doesn't matter. If you don't want to watch Five Ways, you know okay, what was this great. Um, but anyways, he's, nobody watches Fox News. So he's a, he's a guy at Fox News. He's in, uh, he's in that uh, Wolf of Wall Street movie. He's a private investigator in Wolf of Wall Street that helps out with uh, Jordan Bell. In, in real life, that's who he is, but that's who he was on Fox News. So as me and Bo Dito and two other, and I was doing some right, I was, I was like, I've been independent, but I was doing some, like, some uh, talking about political things with the right. And then there were two other uh, people from the left, and we were just going back and forth and all this stuff. And I remember in my head, I, went, I, 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 I was in the middle of, I, I had, someone asked me a question, and I went longer than I should have. And then he ended up cutting him off, you know, if you can go too long. Ever since that happened, that was my first thing. Ever since that happened, I, I, now I have an internal clock. But it's easy once you have three to five points. Same point. You know, uh, I don't know, travel insurance. Oh, let's go get your, go to this website, it's great. All right, uh, call this person over here, get a quote. Like you can easily knock out a sound bite without having to drop out, having to memorize a whole bunch of things. And it's, and it's part of what you already do, so it's comfortable to do that. Um, the last is I find a way to support evidence. That's what I, I, I found out, so they always ask, where'd you get this from? Did you make it up? Uh, no, I pulled, I pulled, because again, don't make the mistake and think that they can go find anybody, they can't. But if you've already done all this, you've already, you've already, you've already like, 99% of the work has already been taken care of. So why would I go, so why would I take your stuff and go give it to somebody else that has some money? Granted, sometimes they'll take, sometimes they will take your, your ideas and run with them. Happened, that's happened, I, one time, one time, one time I wrote a pitch for a TV, uh, TV show a week, a couple years ago, and it literally, I'm sitting there and the, the anchor is saying something I, I was supposed to say. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, and again, I'm like, um, now I got to with somebody else. And so that, that can happen. But at the same token, more often than not, you will make the producer happy. That may happen occasionally, but it's worth the effort anyways. All right, I thought about how to, how to find me. But before I go into how to find me, I told you guys I was going to talk briefly about, um, I told you I was going to talk briefly about what I do with the with social, how to connect with the, with the actual producer. This is what I actually do. So I'll go to, I'll find out on social, so like, uh, and Twitter. Follow on Twitter, retweet, favorite, I said this earlier. Then I go find them on Facebook, connect them on Facebook. Almost immediately, all that happens immediately within like a 10, 15, 20, 30 minute period. Find them on Twitter, connect with them on Facebook, maybe like something, maybe like two things, that's it. And then I and then I find them, then I try to find them on YouTube, subscribe to their YouTube channel. They don't, they probably just like, you know, they don't, I'll find another social media platform that they're, that they're using, uh, Instagram or whatever else, find them there too. And so they're getting alerts from one person, three to four to five different platforms, and they automatically got their attention. At a minimum, they may not, they may not, I mean, I mean walk them through something later on, but at a minimum, they're like, who's this guy? Why is what? Then they'll go to my Twitter, and then they'll find out, okay, this is this is his, you know, his, his banner, okay, this is who he is, what he does, okay, I get it. And, and maybe they'll, they'll connect, maybe they'll follow me back, right? Um, I can go on Twitter and check my analytics to see, you know, to see how many, how many, how many people are looking, how many impressions, I can see all that stuff. That's kind of what I do when I'm on a people. And then eventually, I'll send them, I'll send them like, maybe an email. They connect me. You know, that's what I do. That's what I say hello. They connect me. I love your work. Whatever. And, and then periodically they say, hey, it's okay. Every week they got something idea. Maybe it's something you can do in your show. Within a week or two, three weeks, maybe a month, it may take longer, it may take sooner. Maybe, I mean, it may be sooner. At some point, they'll respond. You know what? Somebody just canceled. We'd love to have you come on Thursday. Is there, you can get time? I'm like, oh, let me check my calendar. Like, yes, 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 yes. Let me check my calendar on this one. <laughs> and like 10 minutes later, yeah, I can make it work, I can't do something. <laughs> but that's exactly what I do. That's exactly how it happens, it's just no secret. Or, it's the other option, right? You can go hire a PR agent, and they can do that for you. You can pay them a little money. I, I hired somebody at the beginning, five years ago. Uh, paid her like 500 bucks, she's a nice person, and I know her, so I'm just watching today. No, I'm not going to talk crap about you. But I hired her like 500 bucks, and she got me on a local Philadelphia TV station. I've gotten more stuff myself than I have some of you. Now, you can pay three grand, five grand a month if you want. They'll get you on a bunch of stuff. 
But a lot of us who do blogs and small business don't have, don't have three to five grand a month. Right? If you have three to five grand a month, you're not do Facebook ads. You know, or, or LinkedIn or Twitter ads. And that's, that's a better place to get your money. Because again, to answer your, your, your initial question, the goal is to make, to sell something. Right? The goal literally is to sell something. Like it's not, I'm not, make no mistake, I'm not, getting attention is great, but it makes it easier to sell something if you know me first. It makes it easier for me to move my books if you know me. I can't sell a book if you don't know me. How many people write 300,000 books are written every single, every single year? I'm oh, sorry, are published every single year. If you don't know about any of them, you're not, people, the average American reads one book a year. Look at those odds. So I got I got I got I got I have to, I have to work really hard and focus and get your attention enough to say, okay, instead of me buying Harry Potter, I'm gonna buy your book. I'm not saying it's easy, but if you're trying to start a business, it's doable, right? Um, oh, how many people here have heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? <laughs> Word. Okay, so I'm trying to think of how to do this. All right, I'm going to do this. The first person, okay, before I, before I tell you that, this is, a, this is a copy of his book. You guys have heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? Yeah, 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 okay, cool. I love Gary. He's great. I've uh, um, met him a few times. Um, I actually interviewed him uh, actually once. Um, nice guy, very responsive. Uh, I asked him for a favor uh, back in the day, and when his, when his book came out, and he autographed, I, I got a whole bunch of copies, but he autographed this book for me. I'm going to give this away today uh, to somebody. I'm also going to give away a copy of my book, so I'll give no business plan, business plan. But the, the question I want to ask people, the first person to answer, what was Gary Vaynerchuk's second book? Does anybody know? Who's that? First book. Second book. I love Google. <laughs> Let's go. The thank you, Tom. Yes! <laughs> Boom. That's it. All right. I got you. Um, somebody answered. I said, if you don't answer, it's a good answer. No, don't fall. Oh, it's okay. I got another one. <laughs> yeah. Man. All right. So, yeah. So, I got you. What um, was that one? What was that one? Oh, you got it. I got another one. You got another one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Um, <laughs> Selling it. But, uh, <laughs> all right, so, so that's, that's, basically, that's basically the key. That, that they, but also, here's another stuff that's not part of my presentation. I'll say this as much. If you, before you go on, make sure your website's tight. Um, the, 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 the presentation I was here before I was, the one who was talking about uh, how to increase your email list, your options, and everything else, that's brilliant. If you didn't have a chance to watch that, try and get it again in replay, mainly because that is the next, to me, the next step. Everything has to lead back to what you want. You go to my Twitter, I, I, you have, you're going to where I want you to go. You go to my uh, Facebook, get all my, all my, um, um, my, my rap or everything else, I'm giving up to you, I'm telling you where I want you to go. You go on television, you're gonna go to economics.com, pop-up's gonna be there, you dream of, put your information in there if you want, blah, 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 whatever, I'm trying to push at that time, you know, it's now I'm getting coaching clients, business and, you know, business coaching clients, and, and so that's kind of what you want to do. Do not go on TV and do dog treats. You're like, hey, dog treats. Make sure your, your URL or your address is easy to use. Don't be like, dog treats by Maya Johnson and, you know, and Toronto.com. It's not going to work. It has to be quick. It has to be small and quick as possible. Try and find another uh, domain that you have to direct that. Whatever you have to do. But it has to be something that if I see you on TV, I get it. That's why I, I capitalize um, economics. I do it this way. Economics, EKA, you know, like economics, the ECO is EKA. Like, oh, I get it. Right, I want you to, I need you to remember who I am. So funny you go on TV, you don't remember what I talked about. Right, you don't have to memorize everything I said, but just remember exactly what I want you to do. I want you to give me your email address, I want you to buy my stuff, I want you to get to know me, I want, you know, I want to create a relationship. So if you want to, get, if you want to find me, uh, I'm on Periscope, I'm on Twitter, everything's the same, consistency, uh, YouTube, Blab. How many people here are on Blab? Damn, it's Yeah, yeah, this is sweet. Look at this, this is crazy. Okay, you guys familiar with Blab, please? Okay, Blab literally is Google Hangouts, but a lot better. And uh, Google Hangouts is a nightmare for a lot of people to use. I've done it a few times. Blab is B-L-A-B dot I-N. You literally can have up to four people in your room, uh, and literally you have to chat on the side, and leverage us off the backs of Twitter, so you can have people who are in that room to share, you know, share whatever you're doing simultaneously as Blab is going on. It's, it's amazing. I've, I've sold things from Blab, I've got clients from Blab, uh, literally, you go out there and interview, whatever you do in your business, you have an interview with somebody, I have an interview series. Every, every Tuesday, I interview someone who's in my niche. That's it. And then promote it that way, hashtag it, promote it. You can look at the analytics that way. Um, 
Periscope, amazing. I love Periscope. It, it's, I, 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 I love Periscope. Why shouldn't I do any mobile phone? It's different, obviously, because people can just comment. It's just you talking. But you can figure out content. Now, the qu biggest question I always get from people is, how do I think of what to say on Periscope or Blab? Very simple. You go back to this, uh, the circle of influence I talked about. You in the middle, you can literally come up with content that you just think about. It. And everything, everything, everything is walking people through like, a series of stuff. Right? Everything, everything I'm talking about is walking people through stuff. So, in the morning I do motivational scopes, in the evenings I do business scopes, uh, periscopes. And everything is walking through people through a process of something. That's all people want this. They want to know. It's like, it's, like, it's like you're trying to get in the car and drive to the airport. Someone will tell you, you know, about a loft now, there's a, there's, a, there's a hotel over here, take a left at that place over there. You want, you want benchmarks. And then in the end, there's, there's the airport. In this case, it's do this first, then go over here, and then go see this, and then buy it from me. Right? It's the same, it's literally the same thing. We, we, we find comfort in being walked through something. We find comfort in checklists. We find comfort in, in progress towards something, something we want to do. And I, I literally, I, I've been on Periscope maybe for two months. I've had over maybe 140 broadcasts. Um, I average 200, almost two to 300 viewers on all my Periscopes. These are people that I never would have met in my life, right? And there's no excuse, there's no excuse. The internet, leverage, it's a level playing field for everybody now. Every single person has the ability to be seen and to be heard. If, you don't, if you're not in a business, don't have a blog, you work, you work for somebody, even better, do the same thing. Whatever it is you're trying to, trying to accomplish, the internet can help you, help you get there, help you leverage it. Um, YouTube's self-explanatory. So what I do is I get my blabs, blab, after you do a blab, blab will give you, um, blab will give you uh, the video file, it'll give you the audio file. Audio, you can upload it as a podcast. Video, you can repurpose it for YouTube. No excuse. I have somebody, uh, Overseas, we created, a, uh, we created a, a, a template for me for my periscopes. The periscope is landscape. Now you do landscape. Uh, before it was portrait. Has everything on the side. One side says follow me on Twitter. The other side follows me, says follow me on Periscope. She she puts everything in. So I got a video in there, and I upload that to YouTube. Everything links back to the same thing. The website I want, what I'm doing, to brand. Everything's the same. Everything. You, everywhere you go, you see the same thing. All right. Says so you can follow. You can follow me. Find you follow me. You tweet me. I'll tweet you back. Um, obviously, my book. I've already made that clear. And, and the tweet, the, the thing about Hakusai is a tweet I got from some guy I've never met in Indonesia who got a copy of my book written in Indonesian. It's crazy. It's crazy. This wouldn't have happened otherwise. I wouldn't have got that book deal if I didn't have a social platform. I wouldn't have got that book deal if I didn't have a traditional platform. Right? I mean, like, who am I talking to? Who am I even talking to? You can be the best salesperson in the world. But if nobody, who are you going to sell if nobody knows you? All right, for that startup caveat, that's. Uh, an online training course, I'm not trying to get, I'm just trying to share this with you guys what I'm doing. So an online training course basically that allows you to uh, start, if you're, in the middle, if you're in the middle of your freelance business, you want to start a freelance business, uh, it walks you through the process of doing that. And we're launching probably in the next couple weeks. Uh, and there's three work for three reasons, uh, two reasons why freelancers fail. I can tell you that, but then you wouldn't get the book. Um, <laughs> it's free. Um, okay, so business coaching, pricing strategies, what I do, main what I do is I work with businesses online and online to set their prices and then raise them so they can maximize their profits. A lot of reasons why businesses fail, businesses fail all walks of life in addition to not getting attention is they don't price enough. I know a lot of you do not price enough, do not charge enough for your products and services. And you feel bad for charging more. You're like, well, it's the economy. Nothing to do with you. Because when the economy was crap in 2008, Starbucks was packed. You can't tell me a story that, you know, I can't afford it, I want to do that stuff. I worked at a Starbucks back in 2008 when people were struggling. There are people there who didn't have jobs or buy Starbucks. So you can't tell me they can't afford something. I, I, I picked up a coaching class, like I can't afford to pay, but I can't afford not to because I know that you're gonna help these guys with pricing, I can, I can do other things. We, we will pay for what we value, that's it. That's a simple story. When, 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 when value exceeds price, people give you money. So you gotta be thinking from that perspective. Any business you're in, when I, can I bring enough value to somebody's life that they will gladly give you money for? And the minute that the value exceeds the price, money no longer becomes part of the discussion. They're not gonna be like, I can't afford it. You know when somebody haggles with you about price? Because they don't believe that you can solve their problem. That's it, that, that's basically it. I know it sounds simplistic, but that's literally the truth. They're not saying they think I can't, because if, if, if you can afford it, right, sorry, if, if, you, if you knew that you, whatever problem you had was, 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 was big enough, you wouldn't think about the price, you're like, yeah. If someone said, here's a pill, you will never die to take this pill, you never have to cancer, whatever it is, you, you cut off your arm and sell it, you have to. You do anything, right? So you can't tell me that story that that's, that's not the case. And you gotta think about what your pitch is. How can I change my pitch so 
like, ultimately, how are you going to get by so that somebody will give me money for it? Um, and if you want to email me, yes, email me, and I'll, I'll get you, I'll either talk to Philip or whoever else, but email me at uh, info at adolfanker.com, and uh, I will send you a slide deck. Uh, this, is, this is a keynote, but um, I also created a PDF for it. So I'll, I'll figure out a way to get the slide deck to everybody who wants it. Um, because, again, the stamp and picture there is, is killer. That's what I do. Uh, and that's literally what I do. I literally just get away from the farm. I have no farm left. <laughs> farm left is gone. All right, I have no idea what time it is. But um, uh, are there any questions? Do you find there's the best time of day or day or time of year to pitch or not pitch producers? Uh, good question. She asked, uh, is it, do, I, do I know if there's the best time of day or year to pitch producers? Uh, I would say yes, depending on what you're, what you're doing. Uh, I try to pitch, I pitch all the time, but in my, in my area, I'll pitch for another. So back to school, I, could, I don't know personal finance, but I could. Um, if there's a huge, if there's a huge uh, collapse in the company, I can talk about the whole range of things. So I try, I try to make it timely enough. Um, but if you're doing like special interest or um, you know, say personal finance and folks on moms, back to school makes sense, leaving school makes sense, uh, vacations can make sense. There's so many avenues you can, you can go that, that right to it. So it sort of, I hate people say it depends, but it kind of depends on what you're doing, uh, what, you're, like, what your area of expertise is, and how that, um, how a person will potentially use that information. Right? In some cases, you can be all year round. I literally pitch every week or every other week. Whatever, maybe. Not, look, no one's gonna get tired of you. They only get tired of you if they don't want it, they want, they want what you're selling. But if you, if you provide it the way I do it, they will reply to it. They'll say, no, no, not this week, but next week. And then I'm gonna keep hitting you. Can you just go on print media Oh, sorry, I missed that. Can you keep some print media? Oh, you said for print media? I do the same thing for print media. You gotta find the person. So if you can provide, um, uh, usable quotes. So I try to provide them with quotes that are poignant, sentence or two, for what they're looking for. Maybe I'll find somebody who's currently in print media, like you can see the byline, see what see where they're on social, connect with them on, on social. I mean, they're obviously on. Connect with them on social. He has, he has your tips uh, for print, uh, print media. Um, and then from there, you just say, look, uh, I found this, this is great. I saw I love your article. Have uh, you thought maybe, can I, can I give you this information? Can you, uh, here's a link to another thing I found that, you know, that, that furthers what you were trying to, trying to put in this article. Something that I'll go online. But I want to be, because I've also been quoted in uh, Ink Magazine, and, um, not only online, but uh, Ink Magazine, Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, I mean, all over the place. And, but mainly it's because, you know, I want to be the source. I want to be the guy who comes to me who wants to ask me these questions. And that happens because me asking whatever you want. And I gotta ask, there's still something to turn away because I don't have time, but I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem, you want. Yes? So I pitch, okay, uh, MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, HuffPost Live. Um, I don't do local news as much. That's on and off. So those four. And then uh, then I'll do some public speaking. I'll do the public speaking. So, so once a week, so I'll probably get my gift from 10 to 10 people. 10 to 10 to 10 to 10 to 10. It's, it's not as hell out of it. If you already have you already found the information, it's pretty much the same. And that's copy and paste. So do you teach uh, the same people or Yes, I do. Hey, make no mistake. You, if you get to know somebody, then they say, okay, this guy's going to pitch me again. It's fine. Like, I'm not trying to, you can go to different people if you want. You can do that too if you want. But I, 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 don't, every, I tell them, I don't know if it's the same thing. Whatever, when you do have that product, it's just an extension of what you're currently doing. 
So when I act, I thought about what then what do you do now? Because it's an understanding that I'm going to do something next after that. What's your next book? What's your next whatever? See what I'm saying? So, so yes, I understand. But the same token, if you're an expert in your space, you, we can all, we're all experts in our field. Even if you're doing the same thing. There's some niche you can find, something you can do. There's plenty of abundance out there. There's no reason, there's no, not a zero sum game. So you can, you're, every day, you don't remember having experts on TV all the time anyways, right? They're, they're experts on every, every day, all the time. So they come and they go and they throw them back, right? But you can use that clip to you know, prove what you're trying to do. Yes, sir? Sir, when you were talking about how you pitch like 10 people a week or whatever, do you send essentially the same pitch? Yes. Now, do you ever run into problems where they're looking for exclusivity in one way or another? No. You want exclusivity? Pay me. Okay. <laughs> that's what I say. You want exclusivity? Put me on your roster. I'm not talking to them about that. Put me on the roster. And that's their name and end, but there's no money in that. So you don't have to do that. But you like, don't go out sometimes and say, look, I'm giving this to you first. Like, you're like, you know, like, I, I, I've said something like that before where I've said, hey, you know, I just found something you great for whatever second you're there. And for the most part, you know, they, they're watching each other anyways. And it's, 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 for me, it's first come, first serve. So I'll give you this. And whoever responds first and says, hey, can you come on a Tuesday? And everyone else will say, I'm already talking to somebody else about this. So, okay. so. And I, I'll have a series of ideas. So I have like maybe three to four ideas I can find. Oh, sometimes I don't have, sometimes I don't have one. Sometimes I have none. And I'll stop checking in. I'm just checking in. Some of you guys want. And sometimes they'll, they'll call me to talk about something they have in mind. So it's not just me pitching them. They'll say, hey, can you come on? Why is he just me all the time? They'll call me at 11 o'clock and say, can you come on at 4? Why? Like, yeah. What do you mean they don't send me a something? So that's interesting because you're saying even as long as you've established yourself, yes. it's okay to write them and say, hey, I, I got nothing to say. Yeah. I just want to let you know I'm around. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Again, you're building relationships. Yes. So just with your sequence speaking, I know you mentioned that you're based on DC, yeah. and you were earlier saying that sometimes they're just live and they're in your ear. So how does that work where, you know, how often do you actually come into the studio versus doing, you know, satellite? Um, I, I do a lot of in-studio stuff. I'm always in the studio. So, so um, occasionally I'll go to New York because I think it's kind of fun to sit in uh, you know, a line. Um, but other times I'll sit, no doubt, everything from home. So, uh, especially in DC, all the other networks have local stations I can go to, or they'll have their own, like, especially the big ones that have their own, you know, their own capital their own station. I'll go there and do it. And that's, it's, it's, remote feeds are, are difficult because you're not talking to somebody, you're just listening to somebody. And, and the worst is when you have a panic. And you're the one that's remote. I did, I did a panel with, uh, I guess you Fox, um, Andrew Tinteros and like two other people for American Life Scoreboard. And I'm in DC, and two other people are sitting beside my host, David Aspen in New York. And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to you know, get your seat. I'm cutting people off. I'm like, screw it. Okay. I'm like, no, no, no. She's like, yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, no, no, no. This, 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 this. And I can't. It's easy when you're talking to somebody. You have, you can have that conversation. I, I can't have a conversation with both. So it's very challenging, but I mean, it's doable. Yeah, it does. And, and, and some networks, they have money. So you gotta understand, a lot of networks, well, some networks don't have, have, have money. Some networks have money. They send you a car to pick you up. My car picks you up, there's water, some shoes, whatever, I hang out with you, do a nice green room. I mean, I met, I mean, I met a lot of people because of that, but especially in New York, hang out with eight weeks. And so because you know, we're all doing the same thing in the green room, so. Anyways, uh, but yeah, sir. Sure. You said you're in. Good question. I uh, so I'm very, I'm very uh, politically agnostic. Now, so that was my first segment ever, and the last one I did put, last political based segment I did. So when I try, when I go on, I talk about small business and the economy. That's kind of my platform. I call myself a small business champion. Um, I always have to rely on small business champion um, to further the plight of the small business owner and entrepreneur. So when I go on, everything I bless you, everything I talk about is is from that perspective. So if it's ta lower taxes, one may infer. I'm independent or right in that regard. But then again, I also talk about social programs like healthcare as it relates to the small business owner or to the individual employees, right? Um, but I never go on to say I'm a Republican or, I, I, or I'm a Democrat. I never, because I do both. I do, I, I do as I see, as I see a lot. And I never go on, I've never gone on to talk about it, right? But that's, that, that's a good question. That's how I resolve it. So ever since that first, that, that first one I did, um, I've done the political second since. That was like 2000, 2010, about years ago. Questions? Yeah. Uh, so if something, I'm going to put a story up, say back to school, how far in advance of, let's say, September 1st, back to school, would you start pitching that story? Probably, probably a month. Okay. And, and every week is follow up. Right. And then to see what they say. Hey, because after a while, they're going to pick up, producers are going to start, um, you know, producing their statement, thinking, okay, how many of these companies, this 
woman's head to send them stuff. That's exactly how people find me. I get I mean, I this from people. I'm like, how do you find me? I'm like, oh, it's on your website, it's on this, and I never saw it, seen any of them. That's literally how it was going to happen. You got a question. Somebody have a question over there? No, it's not that's not him. Okay. Um, any other questions? Yes. Um, when you started building the board, did you start with building or did you like, have a website already? What was the start? Uh, website, logo, everything was. Okay, uh, this is just like. <laughs> this is like bare bones. This logo was done by somebody on five bucks. Five bucks. Or maybe ten bucks. May I add that? May I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Same thing with this. Five bucks or ten bucks. Camera. Website, same thing. I used Optimize Press, WordPress, put that joint together. And then I had somebody, uh, I got a template, somebody do that for like 20 bucks on freelancer.com. That's literally what I did, put it together. But I want a place for people to go to to see and find me. That's what's going to happen, right? Because they, they want, you want, people are going to try to find you, you see who you want. Like you can't be, you cannot not have a website, you cannot have a social presence. Um, you can be an expert, but what makes it easier is you can show, oh, these, these are the things that I've done. This is what I've done already. It's just a very simple site, very simple site. It doesn't have to be complex at all. Right? You don't want to get into any of that stuff. You just want to be easy when somebody comes to find you. This is how you connect with this is how you can find me on X, Y, and Z. This is how you find me so you can want me to talk to you or whatever else. Here's my media, you know, something like that. It's a very good question. Yes, sir. If you were going to the third person, I was scared out of my mind. So, um, for my first few years, I was scared out of my mind. I was sweating, I was sweating like this. I was sweating, I was sweating so like this. The second time I was scared out too. So, it's my second ever TV appearance with CNN. Uh, my gallery was a show. And I, I made a joke to make it laugh, and that's what, that's what, that's what. Well, I was talking about uh, uh, Thanksgiving and Turkey and everything else. And he's like, oh, wait, why did I cry? And I said, like, yeah, you're eating turkey and you're tired as hell. And I said something like that, and started laughing. I said, that's okay. I'm not even better off. I got shot. I got out of the so, ever since then, I have been. So, how do I pitch? So, for me, it was a relationship. So, I met somebody, like a friend of mine who works for a network. I had to meet one of the workers. I just asked him, hey, what do you do in order to get out? And so, I asked him, oh, yeah, well, you know what? Just give me nice some ideas. So that's how the way I started. There's a couple lines in the email. I said, yeah, I'll get this stuff. Cool, come on. And that's when I did the, you know, the, the follow up. The, the show, just, that's another thing, too. So, new shows. You should, you should also uh, also uh, research new shows that are coming out that are in your space. Yeah. People are looking for content. People are looking for content online. People are looking for content in podcasts. New shows that come out, like any, any any new show that comes out, I guarantee you the producers are scrambling to find people to fill. Right? And so if you can come, hey, I'm, I'm available. Like, this is what I talk about. I talk about money and women or you know, kids and dogs, whatever it is. And, and you have a better chance of appearing on there when the show. So that was a new show that I uh, jumped on. Um, and they ended up canceling it a couple years later. They got now in some box. But um, again, you don't have to be, you don't have to like, like, don't, again, like, don't, just understand this. When it comes to like Fox News, they're going to sell stuff. You need to, in order for your business, you need to rise a level above that because you got to understand half of the stuff that people say in general, sometimes they don't believe, maybe they don't believe half of what they're saying, but they do realize that if I get you angry, if I get you to feel something, you're going to respond to me. Like, that's, the, that's the bigger point. So, Rush Limbaugh makes money not because of conservatives. He makes money because people hate him. Right? And he does. So more, the people who hate him listen to him more than the people who actually subscribe to what he believes. Everyone's like, you say Rush Limbaugh, I hate that guy. That's exactly what I, that's what he, that's not me, that's what he wants. So, same thing with some people. Kardashian, they only started growing when people started hating him. Before that, they're like, okay, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, make it fine. But I'm just like, people started hating them, that's when everything else exploded because then the hate will fuel, you know, the movement, and the next thing you know, it's like, you walk by a tablet, and I hate it. I show that tablet, and I just think, come find it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what happens, right? This is exactly what happens. That's what happens with a lot of things, with a lot of, a lot of things in general. So, Hannity, I wasn't a Hannity, but I, I know a lot of people who hate him more than they love him. That's where the money comes from. So, you gotta, so you gotta like, see from that perspective. So, if someone said you come on, obviously, it was not, it was against your beliefs, you know, come on this atheist network, and you've been here, it's not gonna work for you. But um, by the same token, it's still like, the major networks, that's part of it. They know the numbers, they reach all the stuff, you guys know that, they reach all, they know all the stuff. So I'm just trying to go, I'm, I'm trying to go and get attention. Is there anything, any other questions before I wrap up? I know it's lunchtime, I, I want to keep you guys, I want you guys to get hungry, rushing in, like beat me up and stuff. All right, anything else? I got, I want to thank you guys again for being here, you guys are awesome. Okay. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, also you guys, I mean, 
there's no time in the present to get the attention of you for your business and your brand. Like, you, you guys can do, you can, you can rock the hell out of this. I'm just happy for you guys for being here. I'm happy for you guys coming to take on. And I, you know, I wish you all the best. So reach out to any of you to help me reach out to me, ask me questions, whatever else. I'm not going to charge you, I promise. It's going to be